Variations on the ideal gas law. The second variation of the ideal gas law is PM equals DRT. This is a variation of the ideal gas law using the density of the gas and the molar mass of the gas, where density would be lowercase d, and density is measured in grams per liter. The ideal gas law constant remains the same, 0 0.0821 atmospheres times liters times moles kelvin. This constant you need to remember, and you should have it written in your periodic table. Pressure must be in atmospheres to match the ideal gas law constant. Molar mass is found by finding the masses of the elements in the molecule from the periodic table and will be measured in grams per mole. And temperature, as with all gas law problems, must be in Kelvin. A reminder that density is mass divided by volume and that the molar mass is the mass of the element or molecule from the periodic table. In this problem, a gas has a density of 1.70 grams per liter at STP. What is the molar mass of the gas, and what gas is it if the gas is diatomic? We identify our knowns and unknowns. Our pressure is one atmosphere because the gas is at STP, standard temperature and pressure standard pressure is always one atmosphere. We need to find the molar mass of the gas. Our density is given to us as 1.7 grams per liter. Our R value is our constant 0 0.0821 atmospheres times liters divided by moles Kelvin and our temperature is 273 Kelvin which is standard temperature. Using the ideal gas law equation, PM equals DRT, our atmosphere is 1, molar mass is what we are looking for, 1.7 grams per liter is the density, 0 0.0821 atmospheres times liters divided by moles Kelvin is our gas law constant, and 273 Kelvin is the temperature. Following the algebra, we divide by 1 atmosphere on both sides and we get 1.70 grams per liter times 0 0.0821 times 273 divided by one atmosphere. In this case, we notice that atmospheres will cancel, liters will, will cancel, Kelvin will cancel, and we will end up with grams per mole, which is the value for molar mass. In this case, the calculation comes out to be a molar mass of 38.10 grams per mole. That answers the first half of the equation of the problem. What is the molar mass of the gas? To find what gas it is, we have to realize that a diatomic gas has two atoms. Therefore, we must take the molar mass and divide it by two, which gives us an actual mass of 19.05 grams per mole. When we look for this mass on the periodic table, this mass is the same as fluorine gas. Therefore, our gas in this unknown density is fluorine.